Jay-Z once said, four album in 10 years, nigga, I can divide. On that same record, Jay-Z said, went from nasty Nas to Esco's trash. Had a spark when you started, but now you just garbage. You the fag model for Carl Kanai Esco ads. He never apologized for saying that. Nas said in his response, Rockefeller died of AIDS. That was the end of his chapter. And that's the guy you choose to name your company after? Put it together. I rock hoes. You rock fellas. He also said, I'll still whip your ass. You 36 in a karate class. You tie bow ho. Trying to work it out. Nas never apologized. They're cool to this day. No violence happened. L.O. Cool J said, and I'll slam you no just like a sumo. Put him in pampers, leave my drawers in his hamper. Kumo D said, if mama said knock me out, then come do it. You can't hang and that dumb bitch knew it. They didn't apologize. Ice Cube said that basically called Drake gay, or Dre, Dr. Drake gay, basically said he would light Easy e on fire. Basically said the, the N-words with attitudes, who you fooling? You can't be the N-word for life crew with a white Jew telling you what to do. He never apologized. My point being, for everyone that's saying, oh, J. Cole, this is so mature of him. Oh, we don't want to see something like this and in violence, and he didn't want, he didn't want to be violent, so... He took it back. That's not him. All of those other incidents that I mentioned, none of them ended in violence. None of them ended in violence. If you become friends later on, cool. Drake and Meek are friends right now, right? I've never seen Drake stand up and say, I take back saying, is that your world tour, your girl's tour? I'm sorry, Meek. Drake never took back back to back. So when people try to make an excuse for J. Cole, it's just that. Excuses. This is what rap, hip hop was built on. Competition. Rap, I'm not going to say hip-hop, because hip-hop's the culture. Rap is a part of hip-hop. Rap is a competition. You know, Michael Jordan and Patrick Ewan were really close friends. But when they were playing against each other, Jordan dunked on Ewan one time and said, Stay down, you bitch-ass nigga. So... When you're out there in competition, you have no friends. J. Cole has been telling us for the, what, the past three years, nobody wants smoke with him. Can't nobody mess with him. I feel like Muhammad Ali is the big three, but I feel like Muhammad Ali, he's been telling us how nobody can mess with him. Rest assured, the best is here in the, in the flesh. Rest assured. That's for sure. I send in words to address the Lord. So you've been telling us that you're the best for how many how, how many years now, J. Cole? 
You're not going to hear Aubrey. You heard what Aubrey said, right? Not saying that I'm the best at what I do. I'm just saying it's me against whoever want to lose. Take any one of the who's who's. I got two twos for new crews. Huh? Y'all supposed to say, huh? Huh? I'm not saying I'm the best at what I do. I'm just saying it's me against whoever want to lose. Take any one of the who's who's. I got two twos for new crews. Huh? J. Cole, for you to take back a diss record that at, at most was, was high level mid. It was a little better than mid. But you wasn't saying it with your chest. We can all tell you didn't mean it. So if you were going to make a diss record and then take it back, or you were actually responding to, um, to uh, Kendrick Lamar on the future joint, if you were going to take it back, J. Cole, why did you even respond? Oh, oh, my friends wanted me. They want to see blood. What type of beta male BS is that? They want to see blood, so I respond, even though I don't really want to respond, because that's my man. What's the worst thing you said about him? Four album in ten years that you can divide? And how you don't drop and how... This out when I'm put this dude to sleep. That that's what Jay Z didn't apologize for saying. Two of them S was due. One was eh. The other was Illmatic. That's one hot album every ten year average. Jay Z never apologized to Nas for saying that. <laughs> J Cole, your career might be over because. One thing I want to say about people who's trying to make an excuse for J. Cole. If this was Drake, let's just keep it a buck. If this was Drake, y'all would be would not be saying, oh, it's so honorable. Oh, it's so mature. Oh, he's such a stand-up guy. Oh, he's showing growth. You would have been scary, fake thug. Fake gangster, backpedaling, you know you would have said it. If this was Drake, and I called Peter Rosenberg out on it, and he didn't deny it. He said, oh, that's just your assumption. No, but you ain't denying it. That's my assumption based on the bias that I see against Drake. If this had been Drake that dropped a diss record and then apologized to Kendrick, Y'all have been saying he didn't want that Kendrick smoke. He didn't want to hear what Kendrick was coming back with. Drake knew. Drake P. Drake soft. Fake thug. What happened to mob ties? Y'all know y'all would not have been giving Drake that same grace. So the same things you have to say about Drake or you would have said if Drake did it. I bet you one thing. I bet you Aubrey ain't apologizing. He ain't apologized to no shots. He done took it, people. Him and Chris Brown is cool. You don't see him apologizing for the lines he threw at Chris Brown on 5 a.m. in Toronto. When he's talking about Rihanna, where you think she at when she ain't with you? Wilding, doing shit that's way out of your budget. Owl sweaters inside a luggage. You got to love it. He didn't apologize to Chris Brown. Tell the world, I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't mean it. I don't want no beef. Kendrick didn't apologize when he dropped the control verse. The bottom line is rap is competition. And J. Cole, you just took yourself out of the competition. It's no longer the big three. It's a t it's two and a used to be. Two and a used to be. It's the big two 
and are used to be. Let me know down in the comments what you think. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.